Oh, that's funny. I had this thing. I had this like this uh, almost. Um, I had this weird thought today. I was like, before we got on stream, I was just doing my normal daily routine, which sort of involves like jumping on a bunch of different websites and things and catching up on what I would consider like current events, I guess. Yeah. And uh, um, the the article that I saw that was like my one, like, okay, I've scrolled too far. I'm hitting entertainment articles was talking about how like Justin Timberlake and his wife, um, Jessica Beale. It was something to do with like how they were trying to apologize to each other for, or he was trying to apologize to her for whatever, something that went wrong in their relationship. And I was really curious, like, I don't care about that at all. I don't give a crap. And I'm sure most people also don't give a crap. Um, But doesn't that like sort of make them relevant, right? When was the last time you heard a story about Danny DeVito and Rhea Perlman? having anything to do with anything in their life uh or like you know just like some celebrity couple that like is just low-key and i wondered and i guess it's worth talking about a little bit like do you think that these guys have they do have image consultants and brand consultants do you think it's possible that they manufacture these things and they kind of come to an agreement and they say hey uh you know, you guys, your stock's going down a little bit. You're not as relevant as you used to be. Um, we need you to kind of like say that you cheated on her. And Ten thousand percent, yes. You think so? Oh, so yeah. I did. when you're when you're in celebrity status, man, everything is a calculated decision when it comes to what I'm going to put on a social media site or a news article. You know, like That's even crazy. even even the types of things you wear when you go out, right? The brands that you wear, like if, if you oh, you're see someone paid. who's in, right. Yeah. If you see someone who's endorsed by Nike and you see them walking down the street in Skechers tennis shoes, that's going to be a problem for them. They would yeah. never do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that it, branding and like promotional stuff is happening 24 seven when you're in the limelight like that. And it's, it's also a social engineering tactic. You know, you see that a lot. What do you mean a social engineering tactic? Like, that's the whole point of it. If you have, if you want to provide some type of boost, if you will, to you, you want to try to incite emotions of empathy from users, from your fan base, right? Do you ever notice how all the time when you see, like, big-time content creators on YouTube will have, like, this is why I quit Twitter, and it's like a picture of them like with a sad face or something, right? Because they're trying to elicit the emotion of empathy or the emotion of, hey, something's wrong with this platform. I want to get off of it. Help me type thing. Um, but even in like a relationship type thing, that, that exact same type of thing happens. You know, you might social engineer a little bit um, with, with your wife, for example. If you want to, if you're trying to do like a large purchase or something, you might butter up a little bit with some small gifts leading up to the question of, hey, I want to buy this whatever. I just buy it. You know, there's, it's, it's a and lot of I, I hide it in the closet. Yeah, there you go. Or you buy it and hide it until it's like, oh, that was a gift, you know. <laughs> no, it's a, the the image isn't just in like one self eye. It's 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 everywhere. The second you have a camera And it's so you, calculated, it, right? Because you have to think is. about the amount of money that that's worth, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Like yeah. They, they, they said that like uh, Trump, when he was um, – running for office a few years ago it was good brilliant like they he, he had essentially because of his personality was getting like billions of dollars of free advertising yeah. right because he had yeah. he had just the ability to get the news companies and things to talk about him yeah for sure and, and, like, I, and, I, and I thought works, the same though, thing with the thing. that adam driver guy where he like walked off the stage or whatever yeah. he walked out yeah. of an interview I didn't yeah. care about that interview. I didn't give a crap that he was making some movie called whatever it was called. Um, I didn't even know about it. And I wouldn't have known about it if the interview had gone as normal, like has gone, right. pl- gone as planned. But I do know about it now. And exactly. like that's – and I also think he – like I don't know. In my eyes, I think that's a crazy personality trait. But what was crazy is I, I like looked at the the comments on that thing and people were like defending him. Like like, yeah, if he said he didn't want to hear his voice, you shouldn't have played it. It's like really? So treat just okay. I guess that's a that's what we can do. That's one way to go about it, yeah. Yeah. But like like even in like even in my personal life, you can like I can identify exactly what's happened. 
Like if I'm on uh, Twitter, for example, or Reddit or whatever social platform I want, and I see a post about an actor or actress that I haven't seen in a long while, I'll be like, oh, okay, well, that's cool. What is this? And then I check it out. And then maybe like within a day or two, I might end up watching one of the movies with that person on Netflix. You know, just no just kidding. Because. Like, yeah. Be like, oh, I think, completely forgot about that person. Do you think Netflix, like, I've always wondered this. Have you ever been searching for something on like, well, of course you have, right? You search for something on your phone. And then you flip on YouTube later in the day, and there it is. But like in video form, you know? Oh, that happens all the time. Yeah. All the time. Like they're like, yeah, he wants to see this. He yeah, wants track, to. Tracking cookies and like activity history is like a common data set, if you will. So of any service would leverage that. Abs- absolutely. It's like, why wouldn't they? Right. That's yeah. the that's the thing. It's like, you would be stupid to not leverage it. Yeah. And the, and the exact, the, that exact thing happens more often than it should, right? Because that's like the scary voodoo magic of the internet. Um, but yeah, totally so true. And it gets even further on with that with like, now we have our smart assistants, like, like Siri, for example, like when I'm, if I'm talking to my wife about wanting to buy like an Instapot or something and just in passing, I'm playing a game on my phone or something. I swear to you, me too. 24 hours. Oh yeah. An ad for an Instapot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But right. you have to wonder like, what is it on your phone that's, that has done that? Exactly. Something right. on and the like, phone. You're did not it. supposed to be actively listening. You know, and there, yeah. Exactly. Something on your phone definitely did it. And I think people get, they forget like you have to be a developer. We have a lot of developers watching right now. Right. And, uh, what imagine a lot of developers are watching right now. Uh, you guys, you must know, like you must know being a developers, you must know the package of permissions. Like if you were to, if somebody were to say, give me camera access, you can get it. Like you can get pretty much everything off their phone. If somebody was to say, give me your, that contact access, you can get all of them. Like there's, there's no reason not to, um and it's super scary yeah it's a surveillance state dude that's that's what it is surveillance yeah yeah Yeah. and 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 like that's it's a it's a the craziest thing is like then you've got the um the back doors that are there for because of nsl the national security letters where like through the national security letter or through some proxy funding then government agencies get access to that data without warrants and they don't have to mess around. Right. And they, they've even like, I've seen crap where they sort of say that, where they sort of say like, well, it's easier if we get this access this way, you know, cause we, yeah, we could exploit it. We like, that's the thing they say. We could just hack into your stuff and grab it, but we'd prefer if we could just kind of, you know, hit, hit that directly. I think was it who published that it was like proton mail or something like that. It's one of these like email services where they pretty much said that they said like, you can either play ball with us or we, we'll just do it anyways. So just play ball. And they ended up shutting down his service or something. I don't I remember right. the exactness of this, but yeah, I mean, it's like the coming from like a tech background, like both of us, like having the programming experience and just in general, we know software can do some scary stuff, you know, like we understand that, but we also understand that, yeah, this creates a heck of a, convenient thing for me to use this specific thing will i forgo my privacy to use it absolutely you know i use gmail not that private you know not at all drive not that private i mean gmail gmail is completely searchable by advertisers exactly yeah so like as far as i'm concerned i'm like yeah you know what i really don't care about (laughs) that because it's it's the best email tool that i've used ever essentially Right. Yeah, like I can do some amazing stuff with Gmail that I can't do with some other services. So, yeah, and Docs are too. I mean, like yeah. I get, I'll start writing up a document in Google Docs about legal formations, and then I'll be on my YouTube at the end of the night or something, and it'll just show me like, well, you're, you know, what what is the best corporate structure? And I'm like, where? Come on, something is definitely doing it, and you don't you don't know what, because yeah, if there's it, an, it, it totally happens. Yeah, if there's an app on your phone or whatever i mean like they they already showed that like these microphones can basically be almost in in like a meta meta gathering state yeah absolutely they'll pick up on keywords yeah and you're like what in the world like and i think it's specific keywords (laughs) i think like i see it a lot if we talk about travel how do you think alexa flips on oh for sure i've got like work travel coming up for example and i haven't googled anything about it nothing you know i haven't looked anything up i've just discussed it about the places i'm going and then all of a sudden i'll see like little promoted advertisements about vacations to happen to be the locations i'll be going to 
you know so i think it's like key words that trigger it i think it's like when you say things that are like actionable like travel travel i think is a key word that it listens to and then it kind of fills in the blank based on what you say after that